Hi, I'm Brent Etchison with Rochester Boys Varsity Basketball Head Coach Rex Reinholt. How you doing? Man? Great. How are you doing? Pretty good. All right, let's start it off. How many seasons have you been coaching? Uh, as a head coach, this is my fifth season as a head coach, but uh, total seasons of coaching, I've had 15 years experience. And you just started last year, correct? I uh, head coach here at Rochester. This is my second full season here. I spent the previous three full seasons at, at uh, Argus just down the road. Um, what are some goals that you have for this season? I think a goal for us this year would be, um, you know, we should be, you know, above 500, uh, compete for the TRC, and, um, you know, win a, a holiday tournament championship and, and um, you know, vie for a sectional championship with everybody we have returning. Um, the 3A sectional, do you think that's going to be different than last year? or? I think it's going to be very competitive. Uh, Mishawaka Marion returns uh, quite a few kids. Uh, St. Joe has, has a young but yet very talented team. Uh, John Glenn has, has some young kids that uh, they were below 500 last year, but uh, they return everybody from last year's squad. And then you throw, throw us in the mix with uh, most everybody back except for Seth and, and John, and I think uh, it should be a very competitive sectional. Um, who do you think your toughest opponents will be this year not in sectional? Not in sectional. I think we always we always play well or have a tough battle with Plymouth. Plymouth will always be a challenge for us early on. Uh, Warsaw will be enough, another tough cha challenge for us. They come to our place this year. Um, but the Tigers are always always a tough challenge for us. Um, and as kind of look through the season as we go through, I think Triton could be another a tough game for us as we move through uh, outside of our, our the TRC. But then within the TRC, uh, Valley will have a strong team again this year. Uh, Southwood has some young and upcoming kids uh, with it. So I think we've got uh, you know a, a six or eight really tough games this year. And um, how do you guys think? How do you think you guys will do this year? You know, I, I think uh, you know from top to bottom, looking at you know our schedule and, and our potential we have coming back. I think we should you know record wise, I hate to put wins and losses on it, but I think we should be you know above the 500 mark. Um, I, I think we should compete every night we play. Uh, we're going to win some we should shouldn't win, and we'll probably lose a few that we shouldn't. Uh, but I think you know throughout the year it's going to be an exciting and fun year of, of Rochester Zebra basketball, and uh, we should get out and watch these guys. And um, that summer weights program, that was a big um, part in the fall sports. Do you think they'll have a big part in the winter sports as well? I think so. I think it'll pay uh, dividends to us. I mean, we've seen it uh, already with our fall athletes, and I think the, the, a lot of fall athletes are playing a winter sport too. So I think we'll see, see dividends uh, throughout through the winter also. All right. I think that's all. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I'm Brent Edgerson with Coach Ryan Holt. Thank you. Hi, this is Brian Etchison with senior Luke Kennedy for the RHS basketball team. What is your favorite thing about playing on this team? Um, I love uh, playing with the guys that I've grown up playing with all my life, and I have a lot of close friends on the team, so it's nice to have that. Um, how long have you guys been playing together? Since, like, what grade? Uh, we started AAU ball in third grade, and then ever since we've been hitting the hardwood. I remember those days. Um, what do you plan to bring to this team this year? Uh, obviously being a senior, uh, sense of leadership and uh, a big presence down low, obviously being 6'5", I got to do that. And one of the biggest guys in the conference got to take care of business. Um, do you have any personal goals for yourself? Uh, definitely all conference this year. I was blessed being all conference last year so hopefully I can repeat and team goals we definitely won a sectional championship it's always a goal every year so we got to work hard for that because we're moving up to 3A so it's definitely going to be more difficult than last year. And um, what teams will be a big factor in your guys sectional in that 3A? Uh, I'm not really sure what teams are in my sectional but I know we got Mishawak Marion and a lot of South Bend schools and northern schools so I'm not really sure. <laughs> you guys definitely got your work cut out for you then. And um, what is your favorite memory from all your years of playing on the high school basketball team? As of now, probably playing in the, the sectional championship game uh, my sophomore year at Winnemac. I was 2A sectional, so. All right. Um, this is Luke Kennedy, and I'm Brian Etchison. Hi, this is Brian Etchison with... RHS basketball senior and fellow intern at RTC, Alec Garrick. How are you doing today? Doing fantastic. Thanks, Brent. 
All right. Um, what is your favorite thing about playing on this team? Probably my favorite thing would be the atmosphere just in the gym and in the locker room. I love being around all these guys, and uh, I'm pretty good friends with most of them, so it's a good time. Um, Luke mentioned something about you guys playing since you were in third grade. Um, how does that affect your guys' chemistry on the court? Uh, we definitely have this uh, have a bond on and off the court, and uh, sometimes I can like sense what he's thinking, and uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. But it probably would have been a little bit better if Luke uh, if Luke didn't swim when he was little, and he would have been dedicated to basketball. But that's all right. <laughs> all right, what do you plan to bring to the team this year? I plan on bringing some uh, big time minutes and hopefully scoring and hopefully uh, helping us out on the offensive and defensive end, scoring some points and uh, guard some dudes. What are some personal goals you have? Um, I hope to be all conference and uh, as far as the team goes, I would like to win TRC and hopefully get a sectional title. It's been a long time. And what is your favorite memory playing on this team? It's probably uh, making the basket the send us into overtime against Wabash. That was pretty neat. Unfortunately, we didn't win the game, though, so that would have made it that much better. I was there. It was pretty clutch. All right. Thank you. This is Alec Garrick, and I'm Brent Etchison. Hi, I'm Brent Etchison with another senior from the Rochester basketball team, Carter Screen. How you doing today? I'm pretty good. How are you, Brent? Pretty good. All right, let's get to it. What is your favorite thing about being on this team? Um, just kind of like the family atmosphere we have. We all get along very well, and it, I think it shows on the court. <laughs> what do you plan to bring to this team this year? Um, just like hardworking, defensive mentality, all in, you know. Stroke a couple threes here and there. I'll try. What are some personal goals that you have this year? Um, personal goals, I'd say just to get better every day and to keep working on my game and getting better. How about some team goals? Team goals, we always have that goal of a conference championship and hopefully taking it to the next level this year in a sectional championship. Sounds attainable. Um, what is your favorite memory of playing on this team? Um, my freshman year, I uh, dressed for the sectional roster and got to play with my brother for the first time, so it was pretty good, I guess. That's, that's touching. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, Carter. This is Carter Screeton, and I'm Brent Etchison. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Alec Garrick here with Coach Stasiak, the head coach of the girls basketball team. How you doing, Coach Stasiak? Great, Alec. How are you today? I'm doing good. All right, starting off, um, how many seasons have you been coaching? Uh, I think this is year number 14 as head coach, and I was a JV coach for three years prior to that. All right. And what are some of your goals this season for your team? Well, they've for as long as I've been around, they've always been pretty similar. Uh, obviously, you want to be the best you can on that particular day and, and work hard and represent Rochester in a first-class manner. And, and team goals are generally uh, have a winning record, compete, if not win conference, and play your best basketball at the end of the year and, and win sectionals because um, once you can win sectionals, then everything else is a possibility. But, um, you know, we uh, keep those goals pretty simple and pretty basic and uh, focus mostly on ourselves and trying to get better every day. And if you can do that and have a good day every day, then uh, all the success tends to take care of itself. Yep, those are some good goals to have. And who are your seniors this year? Well, uh, as of now, we've got two seniors, uh, B. Pollock and Carly Murphy, who've played uh, basketball all their lives, and um, they've had 
at least some varsity experience for this will be their third year on varsity full time um, and they've got a lot of experience they they have tasted a lot of postseason success uh, for in their three years so far we've made it to the sectional championship game come up just short in each of their three seasons so obviously a, a nice goal for them is to, to knock down that door and to, to get a sectional championship uh, they've been a part of a, a conference championship I believe it was their freshman freshman year uh, sophomore year that they were a part of that so they know what that's like so they obviously would like to get that as well but uh, they've done a nice job uh, B Pollock might uh, is is on track to be the best post player I've ever coached here in my time at Rochester. She's really developed. She was first team all conference last year, scored double figures in every game but one or two, uh, led the conference in rebounding uh, and field goal percentage, uh, has just worked uh, is extremely hard and has probably improved more than any player I've ever coached from the day one of her freshman year till now. And Carly Murphy has battled some injuries on and off during her career, but uh, she gives us a nice dimension of being able to play inside or outside, and uh, we'll need her to be more of a, of a scoring threat uh, for us this year and uh, sometimes you'll see her out on the perimeter and sometimes you'll see her play inside but um, you know both of those are uh, great people great leaders and uh, I think they have the respect of their teammates which going into your senior year if you're going to be a leader that's always key and and we feel pretty good about where uh, where they can lead us this year. All right well sounds like you got some pretty good leaders hopefully you can capitalize in the in sectionals this year with them um, and who are your toughest opponents in your eyes this year? <laughs> we always like to joke toughest opponents are always ourselves. I mean, that, that usually is. You want to make sure you're as good of a team as you possibly can be. And, you know, we start off uh, the bat right away with one of the tougher teams we play, which is Twin Lakes, always a good rivalry with us. They're always a good measuring stick and right away at the start of the season of how good you are. Um, you know, as you look into the non-conference part of our, our uh, schedule, uh, Winnemac is always a big rival for us as well, and they'll be very good. They've been very solid for as long as I've been around. They've had good teams, and that's a good rivalry. Unfortunately, this year we only get to play them once. We've been in the same section with them, and that always added a different dynamic to it. Um, um, but we only get to play them once. Fortunately, it's here this year, Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, so that's always a big game. And then once you get to conference, um, Southwood won the conference last year, uh, kind of out of nowhere with a lot of height. They went undefeated in the conference, which they hadn't won the conference in a long time. Uh, they returned a lot of a lot of key players, but they also lost a few key players. Uh, they'll be tough, but Wabash year in and year out the last five years has, has kind of been uh, the go-to team in our conference. Before last year, I think they'd won it three or four years in a row and they return just about everybody uh, they'll be strong in Northfield um, is a team that uh, didn't have any seniors last year and had a lot of juniors so they'll be very strong as well and then you can't count out the likes of, of a typical New Valley I know they were pretty young as well last year um, so th those teams and, and hopefully us uh, should be a battle the conference is about as deep as I can remember mm -hmm. in terms of you know usually you have two or three good teams battling out. You could have four or five different teams this year that can make an argument to compete for conference. Yep. And uh, and finally, um, how do you think you guys will do this year stacking up against your competition? Uh, we have, you know, every player has got some varsity experience um, for the most part on our team this year. And and uh, I think we've got some flexibility and versatility in our lineup. Uh, may not have a lot of size, but uh, I think we've got some, some good athletes. And, um, you know, I think, uh, as I told them this year, I've always felt that I coach the toughest girls in school because it, it's hard, the basketball season, the length of the season, the mental and physical toughness you have to have. Uh, this group fits right along with that. We've had great practices so far, and uh, I think I've got some, some kids that will battle day in and day out, and I think their head and their heart in the right place and that's all you can ask for as a coach and uh, we just want to be the best team that we can be and everything else tends to take care of itself after that uh, but you know if we can get off to a good start and stay healthy and you know we've got uh, we've got some sophomores who played a lot as freshmen I think and that'll, that'll add some some versatility for us uh, Alexa Hall Holland Becky Malco and Keaton Stasiak uh, played freshmen as varsity so they, they add a different dimension to us and uh, you know our numbers may not be large on the varsity this year, but uh, I think we have uh, some talent. We'll need to stay healthy and, and play smart, and uh, I think we have a lot of potential as much as any potential I've coached in the last couple years. Yeah, well, hopefully you can utilize that quickness that you guys have, and uh, uh, good luck in the rest, or, well, in your season this year. It hasn't started yet, and thank you for your time. I appreciate it, Og. <coughs>
Hi, I'm Brian Etchison here with senior basketball player Carly Murphy. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Um, Carly, what is your favorite thing about playing on this basketball team? Um, I think my favorite thing is just like being with the team and having team dinners and I don't know, just building a relationship with the team. What do you plan to bring to the team this year? Um, I mean, I'm a senior, so I've been around for a while, so I plan to bring leadership and just like, I don't know, <laughs> yeah, leadership and being a captain. <laughs> team always needs some leadership. Well, what are some personal goals that you have for this year? Um, I don't know, just, we, only, we don't have very many people, so probably staying out of foul trouble and just being a leader and not turning the ball over. And team goals, um, we always want to do good in TRC and maybe do good in section. All right. And lastly, what is your favorite memory of playing on this team? My favorite memory is probably when um, the whole team, um, when TP Randy went house to the baby coach, and we kind of got caught by the cops, and everyone started running away, and everything was good. We didn't get in trouble or anything. Definitely a lesson learned. With senior basketball player Carly Murphy, this is Brad Ashton. Thank you for watching. I'm Alec Garrick here with Coach Guard, the head coach of the Rochester wrestling team. How are you, how are you doing today, Coach Guard? Doing well. How about you? I'm doing good. Thank you. All right, starting off, how many seasons have you been coaching? Uh, this is my 18th year coaching, uh, 18th year teaching here. Uh, probably be my 14th or 15th year actually as a as a wrestling coach here. Uh, a couple years I took off. One year I coached over at Manchester. So probably around 14 or 15. I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, it sounds like, yeah, it sounds like you've been around a while. Yep. Um, and what are some of your goals for your team this season? Uh, our goals are, as they are every year, we want to win our conference. Um, we feel like we're in a great position to be able to do that. Uh, we want to win our sectional. It's been a, been a few years since we've been able to win a sectional. I think 2008 was our last one. Um, and then we want to qualify our team for Team State. So mm -hmm. those are... Always our three main goals, and, and those are you know those aren't going to change. We, we want to dominate our conference and uh, get our sectional one, and, and get guys as many guys as we can to the state tournament, and, and keep them wrestling through to February. Yeah, looking at your roster this year, it seems like you have a pretty good chance to meet most of those goals. Um, and go along with that, uh, who are your seniors this year? Our seniors this year, we've got uh, four seniors, I think. We've got uh, Tyler Downhour. Uh, he'll probably be 52, 152, or 160. Uh, ben Horvin will be probably 145. Uh, Braxton Lee is our other senior, and he will be probably 152 or 60. He and Tyler are going to battle out for those spots. Um, we got a couple other seniors. I don't know yet if uh, they're coming out yet, um, but uh, I think they're still thinking about it. Um, so right now, those are our three main guys uh, as far as seniors go. Uh, and those are going to be, you know, our three main senior leaders this mm -hmm. year. Um, so a lot of experience there. Those uh, Braxton last year was uh, uh, fourth in our sectional uh, conference champ. Tyler was a conference champ uh, and was second in our sectional. Um, and Ben, uh, I'm trying to remember for sure. I think Ben was. Uh, I know I'm not gonna. I, I know I don't know the stat on his conference. Yeah. I think he got fourth in our conference. Um, and then at sectionals, he, he did not qualify for regional. So, uh, but uh, you know, we look, those three guys have been working hard all summer long. So we're looking for some big things out of those three. Yeah, it's really important to have those guys in your uh, in your program. And who are your toughest opponents this year in your eyes? Uh, this year, our toughest opponents. Um, you know, we wrestle a pretty solid schedule. We wrestle a lot of tournaments. So to just kind of pinpoint who's our toughest opponent. Um, you know, New Prairie, we wrestle New Prairie here this year in uh, early December. That's going to be a, a good dual meet, should be a very good dual meet. Um, it'll, it'll be a tough a tough team to beat. Um, you know, our John McKee Invitational that we host here over uh, New Year's break uh, will be a, a real tough tournament. Uh, it's gotten a lot better over the last couple of years. We take kids to Mishawaka over Christmas break as well, and uh, that's always a tough tournament. Um, you know, we, we'll, we'll wrestle CMA, Logansport, um, you know, Delphi. Uh, 
we wrestle those guys at Logan's Port Duels, go up to South Bend Clay and wrestle South Bend Clay, who's been ranked, uh, you know, probably for the last 10 years, they're probably a top 20 team. Um, so, you know, every weekend we're going to see at least one team that's that's pretty tough. Mm -hmm. And finally, uh, how do you think you guys will do this year? Well, I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, like I said, our goal is to win our conference, win our sectional, and qualify for Team State. I, I think that our team has a great opportunity yeah. to do that. Uh, we'll, we'll be defending conference champs. we got everybody back. Um, you know, if we get catch some breaks, getting some guys eligible and, and things of that nature. You know, we're waiting to hear about West back and to see if he can he can wrestle this year. Um, if he does, he'll make a huge difference in our lineup. Um, but I, I think that we'll win our conference. I think we've got a great shot at winning our sectional. Um, and last year we were we were real, real close to qualifying for Team State. Uh, with everybody back this year, I think that's something that we can, we can definitely do. Um, got a lot of guys who you know, want to win a conference, want to win a sectional, but they also want to be regional champs and they want to go to semi-state. And we've got six or seven guys talking about going to state this year. So, um, you know, I think those are realistic goals and, and uh, I'm not going to tell them they can't. Um, you know, my job is to, is to get them there at the end of the year and that's what we're going to go for. And to go along with that, that uh, the summer weights program that Rochester had this year seems to have paid off in the in the fall sports, do you think that'll carry over into winter as well? Oh yeah, absolutely. It's it'll help. It, sh it should help every single one of our winter sports. Um, our guys are much stronger than what they were. Uh, they'll be in much better shape coming into our season. Uh, you know, they were able to go. We got a lot of football players this year, so that you know, a lot of those kids that played fall sports, they went right from summer conditioning right into a fall sport, and now they're coming right into a winter sport. So those guys that played soccer, uh, played football, uh, ran cross country, played tennis. They're they're now in shape all the time. Yeah. Instead of now, I don't have to worry so much about getting them in tip top shape. Um, they're going to come in, in in really good shape. My job will just to help them get over the top and, and really get them in great wrestling shape. Mm -hmm. So I think it'll really benefit us. Yeah, and then after that, you can work on on the on the skills. All right. Well, thanks for your time, Coach Carter. Uh, I'm Al Gary. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Okay. Yeah. Hi, I'm Alec Garrick here with Stephanie Brown, the head coach of the swim team this year. How are you doing today, Stephanie? I'm fine, thanks. Yep. Okay, so starting off, how many seasons have you been coaching? Uh, this is my fifth year coaching. Okay. And, uh, and what are some of your goals for your team this year? Um, some of our goals are we would like to beat uh, Bremen this year. We have never beat them since I've coached the team. Um, we also um, would like to have an undefeated season, and we would like to um, place the same at sectionals, if not um, improve our place at sectionals, as well as have some swimmers and relay teams make it to state. Mm -hmm. yeah, those sound like some pretty good goals. And going along with that, um, who are some of your tougher opponents this year? Uh, definitely Bremen. And we'll go to a couple invitationals when we'll see some bigger, more competitive schools. OK. and. Uh, and who are some of your seniors that you have on the team this year? Um, for the girls, we have Ali Seiler, Allison Webb, uh, Anna Barris, Aaron Johnson, Taylor Mars, Erica Abbott. I think that's it. And um, for the boys, we have Patrick Kays and um, Austin Fultz. That sounds like you got a big group of uh, potential leaders. And, uh, and to wrap things up, how do you expect your team to do this year? Um, we hope to do as well as we did last year, if not better. Oh, yeah, yeah you, you said that. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for your time. And I'm Al Garrick with Stephanie Brown. Thank you. Hi, I'm Al Garrick here with Pat Kays, a senior on the, on the swim team. How are you doing today, Pat? I'm fantastic. How are you? Fantastic as well. Okay, so Pat, what is your favorite thing about swimming on this team? Oh, I don't know. All of our team dinners are pretty fun. We always do fun things as a team and probably the workouts also. Yep. And what do you plan to bring to this team this year? Cookies. Like cookies is a, it's a great asset to have. Everyone likes cookies. Um, anything in the, in the water that you plan to bring to this team? 
oh, I don't know, I want to break a couple more records and probably just a ton of work ethic. Yeah, that's good to have. Right, so what are some of your personal goals that you have this year? Uh, like I said, I want to break a couple more school records and I want to break the other two relay records with my relay team. Yeah, sounds attainable for you. And what is your favorite memory of playing on this team or uh, swimming? I don't know. It's hard to put the entire three, the entirety of three years into one memory, but probably just breaking the relay record at sectionals because we didn't see it coming and we were all just fired up when it happened. So it sounds like records are a, are a big thing to you guys. So good luck with those. And that's all I have. Thanks for your time, Pat. Thank you. Hi, I'm Al Garrick here with Austin Foltz, a senior on the swim team this year. How are you doing today, Foltz? I'm doing all right. Doing pretty well today. Thank you. Yep. Okay, starting off, what is your favorite thing about swimming on this team? I'd have to say that my favorite thing about swimming is probably the community that we have with swimming. Um, whether you're a freshman, junior, or a senior, we constantly um, make connections with certain players, the coaches. We have a lot of team dinners where we kind of help each other out. Um, very good family community in swimming. Yeah, that's important for, uh, for all the sports. That's what everyone else has mentioned. And what do you plan to bring to this team this year? Hopefully I plan to bring a lot of leadership to the team. I, I um, have intentions of probably being captain this year. I would like to help out all of the upcoming seniors and then the people um, that are going to be in swimming next year so that when this group of seniors leave, we still have a very strong and willing swim team. Yeah, it's important to leave that legacy on, on a team, especially if you're a senior. Um, what are some personal and team goals that you have this year? Um, personal team goals is I would like to get higher in sectionals. Um, ever since my freshman year, I've only been in the top 16. This year, I'd like to get in the top 8 with my 200 IM and my 100 fly. All right, well, good luck with those. And, uh, and finally, what is your favorite memory of playing on the, or swimming on this team? Um, my favorite memory um, with the swim team was probably my first team dinner that I threw my freshman year. I had no idea what I was doing and I didn't know exactly what was expected of me. Um, I knew I had to have dirt pudding and that was it. That was the main thing I had to focus on. I threw it a very nice team dinner, the first of the year, um, and a lot of the seniors came out to me and said, this is really good, this <laughs> makes us want to step up our game and we got to do better. And so that was a great experience. Yeah, I feel like dirt pudding is, uh, is something that all team that all team dinners have in common so all right well that's it uh, thank you for your time austin thank you i appreciate it hi i'm brian etchison here with rhs swimmer allison webb how you doing today allison i'm just grand that's good <laughs> so what is your favorite thing about being on the swim team um, my favorite thing about being on the swim team probably is how close we are and how much of a family we are and because we're really good so we win a lot of meets <laughs> That's always good. Um, what do you plan to bring to the team this year? Um, well, since I'm a senior, I plan on being the best leader that I can and pretty much just being a role model for all the girls and the guys. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any um, personal goals? Um, one of my personal goals is to break the 100 breaststroke record, and then other than that, I just want to improve all my times. It's always attainable. Um, how about some team goals? Um, our team goal this year is for the girls to go undefeated in all of our dual meets, which is very likely, but we just want to solidify it because it'll be the first time it ever happens. That's pretty exciting. Um, what is your favorite memory being on this team? Um, well, there's a lot, but my most favorite moments with my swim team are probably team dinners and stuff because we're all like crazy and have a lot of fun and then also um, whenever we min win really close meets, it's always good to like celebrate like an hour after the meet with all of them. So, yeah. Yeah, you guys are some pretty crazy people <laughs> over there on the swim team. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching. This is Allison Webb, and I'm Brian Etchison. Hi, I'm Brian Etchison here with the diving coach for Rochester High School, um, Shelby Sizinger. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. So, is this your first year coaching? This is my first season. All right. Um, what are some goals that you have for this season? Um, I definitely want all of my divers to get 11 dives. That is required for the sectional or state meet, so I want them to all meet that requirement. All right. Um, who are some of your seniors that are diving? I only have one senior, Allie Seiler. All right. 
And she's been diving all four years, right? Correct. Um, and diving, who is the toughest opponents around here? I'm not really sure. A lot's changed since I've been in school, so that is a question that I can't answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, how do you think you'll do this year with the talent that you guys have? I think we'll be pretty well. We'll be pretty competitive, and like I said, I'd like to see everybody get the 11 dives so they can make the sectional cut. All right. That's all we have. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hi, I'm Brian Etchison here with an RHS diver, Allie Seiler. How are you doing today, Allie? Good. I'm doing good. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. What is your favorite thing about being on this team? Um, I like diving because it kind of has a danger factor to it because you can like hit the board and you smack all the time, so I think it's kind of fun. Have you ever hit the board? Yeah, I've hit the board twice. Like with your head or what? No, I just hit like limbs, like my hands and my feet. Oh, that's weak. <laughs> um, what do you plan to bring to the team this year? Um, I plan to help the freshmen that don't really know how to dive. I plan to help them like learn new simple dives and I hope that we can do better than we did last year. Um, do you have any personal goals for this year? Um, some personal goals I have are certain dives. You guys probably wouldn't know what they are if I said what the names of them, but I've been trying to get them the last four years and I just hope I can get them this year. And I also plan on making it to regionals. Sounds attainable. Um, do you have any team goals for the diving team? I hope that if, okay, I hope, we usually go to Western, but I think we might go to Plymouth Relays this year, and if we do go to Plymouth Relays, then I hope we can place there. Well, good luck with that. Um, what is your favorite memory of being on this team? Um, one of my favorite memories of being on the team was probably last year when Callie Richards was on the team and her legs would literally flail like everywhere. <laughs> like, it was funny. We should have been in our practices. <laughs> all right. Well, that's all that I have for you. Thank you, Allie. Hi, I'm Brian Etchison here with the RHS cheer coach, Mr. Shane Holes. How you doing today? Good. How are you? Pretty good. So, how many seasons have you been coaching the cheer squad? Um, this will be my second year coaching the cheer squad. All right. Um, do you have any goals this season for your cheerleaders? Um, one of my goals this year is to um, definitely work on sharpness looking at getting um, a transition in with getting new uniforms and getting some of the older ones um, knocked down back to the middle school. Um, looking at doing some more stunting whenever basketball comes around with the guy lifters um, and to put some of those lifters that are my seniors into a position to go to college, um, hopefully on scholarship. Um, can you, who are some of your seniors? Um, some of my seniors, I have Brenna Gibson, uh, Mallory Benzing, and um, Emily Shepard as far as girl, girls go. Um, my senior guys are Taylor Pugh, Austin Calvert, um, yeah, Travis McLean, um, Nathan Davidson. I think that's it. All right. Um, now, in cheerleading, there aren't opponents, technically, but who are some of the better cheer squads around here that we play? Some of the better cheer squads that we face, um, I would say out of the TRC, maybe um, anyone that can hold um, some competition for us might be Manchester. Um, Outside of the TRC, who we play for basketball, I would say the best squad that we face every year would either come from Plymouth or definitely Warsaw. How do you think you'll compare to some of those better cheer squads? Uh, I think with having um, cheer camp this summer and doing um, 
the summer lifting and weights conditioning program and having um, Allison Butler as my other coach and bringing that aspect in. I think we're going to look a lot tighter this year and do some more advanced moves whenever it comes to lifting for basketball season. And having those guy lifters has to be a huge advantage because there's not many schools that you see around here that have any guy cheerleaders. No, um, I know that last year we had Manchester, which had maybe a guy or two, and that's the only one out of the TRC that has lifters. Um, whenever we go onto the floor, having 20 girls and possibly having about 10 or 11 guys, you're sitting there with 31 people as a cheer squad, and for some of the conferences, um, opponents that we play, that's pretty impressive, and it seems to uh, be a fan favorite here at home also. Definitely. The Varsity Club is a lot different this year. Can you explain that a little bit, how different it is? I know um, last year, whenever Mr. Hughes and the previous years, whenever he had it, it was a, a club um, specifically for varsity letter letter men or letter women, depending on girls or guys. And you had to sing the school song to get into it. And that was kind of pretty much it. And they talked about, you know, leadership skills and, and this and that. We kind of kept some of those traditions, but morphed it into more of a, like a cheer block type thing that goes along with the basketball season, the zoo crew kids, so that whenever you arrive at a game, you know, your the themes are picked out. Maybe there's a, a shirt that's going to be worn that night, and it's to help boost the, um, the spirit in the school and get kids involved. All right. Well, I think that's about it. Thank you, Mr. Shane Hulse. You're, You're watching RTC Channel 4. This is Brian Etchison. All right, I'm here with the Rochester High School boys bowling coach, Andy Presarisi. How you doing today? Good, sir. How are you? Pretty good. So how long have you been coaching? This will be my eighth season, fifth season as varsity coach. All right. And um, who are some of your seniors? I got Levi, and that's it, and Brant, and uh, Sai, who joined us late in their careers. So got three seniors all together. And um, how do you guys plan on doing this year? Well, I have pretty high expectations. I got a very young team, and they got a lot of talent. We got some kids averaging probably 215, 220, all around there. So I feel pretty strong about it. And um, who are some of your toughest opponents this year? Uh, Warsaw is going to be tough. They're always tough in the conference. And then uh, Logan will give us a good match tonight. Those are the two main teams we kind of worry about if we have to worry about it. But uh, then we go up into tournament time, and that's where we'll get a little tougher. So, Like as in sectionals and regionals and state? Yeah, mostly regionals, semi-state, state finals. That's where it gets really tough. You get a lot of big schools. It's not a class sport, so you're bowling against Indy teams and South Bend teams and Michigan City teams and stuff. So that's where it'll get really difficult. So, All right, well, that's all I have for you today, Coach. Thanks for your time. All right. I'm Brent Etchison here with Andy Pesarisi. Hi, I'm Brent Etchison here with Rochester senior bowler, Levi Brown. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Pretty good. So how long have you been bowling? I've been bowling actually since bumper bowling, and I believe that started at four or five years old. Been bowling for a long time then. Um, what do you plan to bring to the team this year? I just plan to bring what I've been doing the past three years, just try to do my part, whether it's Baker or uh, just regular match play, and um, hopefully come sectional time, we're ready to take that uh, eighth consecutive championship. So. And can you explain what Baker is to some of our viewers that aren't that it well experienced with bowling? Yes, uh, Baker is actually where you have five bowlers. The first bowler bowls frame one and frame six. And then uh, after that, it's like uh, the second bowler bowls the second frame and the seventh frame and uh, so forth. So then uh, we bowl 10 of those when we have those matches, 10 of those games. And then. Um, in match play, uh, each bowler bowls two 10-frame um, long games. So that's how that goes. Sounds pretty exciting. Um, what is your favorite memory being on this bowling team? Uh, my favorite memory would have to be going to state when we made it all the way there. And we actually, we were, we were really young at that time, so um, 
we didn't do as well as what we were hoping to, but this year we've got everybody back from last year and got a couple new guys, a couple new seniors, including Brent himself and Cyrus Holland. And we're hoping to uh, expand on that and get all the way to state again this year. And you guys play Logan Sport today, correct? Yes, sir. All right, well, I wish you guys good luck tonight. I'm Brent Etchison here with Levi Brown. Hi, I'm Brent Etchison here with the, bowl, the girls' bowling coach, Jim Shally. Lauren Shally and Mercedes Trustee. So how many years have you been coaching? Uh, this is my fourth year. And these are your two seniors, these correct? These are my two seniors, the only two we got this year. And you are? I'm Lauren Shally. Mercedes Trustee. How long have you guys been bowling? I've been bowling since my sixth grade year, so that would be seven years now. And three years. So you guys are bowling Logan Sport tonight, correct? Right, right. And how have you guys matched up against them in the past few years? They, they've always been a tough opponent. Uh, they're young just like we are, so it'll be interesting to see how it uh, ends up at the end of the night. But uh, we'll, we'll get them. You know, go Z's, right? Yeah. All right, well, good luck tonight, guys. All right, thanks, Brent. I'm Brent Edgerson here with Jim Shally and Lauren Shally, Mercedes Trustee.